Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here. Several of you have reached out and asked me how I use the Canvas tool in Logos Bible software. And so in this short video, I want to show you two ways to use the Canvas tool. First of all, I'm going to show you how to use the Canvas tool to do general sentence diagramming, which is the standard way in which the tool is typically used. But I also want to show you how I personally use the Canvas tool to prepare my sermons each week. I actually utilize the Canvas tool to mind map. I build mind maps out of Canvas, and I utilize those from the pulpit, and I actually preach off of my mind maps. And so I'm going to show you how to make those as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Canvas tool in Logos Bible Software. So the easiest way to access the Canvas tool in Logos Bible Software is to just click up here on Docs, New, Canvas. This is going to open up a fresh Canvas document. You can just title it in the upper right corner here. I'll just write Test. And now it's titled. Now, the way in which the Canvas tool was designed is for sentence diagramming. If you click insert passage up here, you can put in your passage. Perhaps I want Psalm 8. And you can pick the translation that you're selecting out of. Here I have ESV by default, but one of the nice things about using Canvas is you can actually select the original languages as well. So if you want to use Hebrew or Greek, you can do your sentence diagramming there. But I'll just stick here with ESV, Psalm 8, and hit Add to Canvas. So now you can see that I have a spatial element to my chapter and verse. And with each of these verses, I can actually move these things around in order to have that focused in on in different ways, shapes, and forms. This is perfect for sentence diagramming because oftentimes you're setting off certain aspects of the passage and you're trying to point out certain things. Not only that, you have highlighting commands down here. So you can take these highlighting commands and put them over the top of some of the words that you like. And you can diagram your sentences in this way. This is the first intention behind the Canvas tool. And this is what the creators designed it for. Let me show you a finished one. So notice here that I've utilized sentence diagramming in Canvas to actually break down all of Psalm 8. Notice that there is a chiasm here. Verses 1 and 9 are the same. It form an inclusio in order to set off the chiasm of the entire psalm. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. And I've used all sorts of bars, highlights, setting off of the pattern so that I can actually recognize exactly what the structure of the psalm is. Now, this is really helpful because I actually take this very diagram, and I actually clip it using the snipping tool in Windows, and I put it in a slide in my sermons. And I can actually show this to everybody else that are out there in my congregation. So it's great for sentence diagramming and breaking down these ideas. And you don't have to just use it for sentences and verses. Here you can see that I've actually used the Canvas tool to create a structure for Psalm 8 as well. If we notice throughout the psalm, we have a vertical descent downward from God to man, and then a horizontal filling up of the whole earth. In verse 1, it talks about being above the heavens. Then in verse 3, it talks about the heavens themselves. Then in verse 5, it talks about being a little lower than the heavenly beings and being crowned with glory and honor. And on and on it goes. If you actually break down the psalm, it has this structure. And again, I clipped this out using the snipping tool, and I put it right there in my sermon so that I could show that to my congregation. They have a spatial way of dealing with the passage that helps them to understand better what the scriptures are teaching. So now that I've showed you the standard way in which to use the Canvas tool, I actually want to show you how I utilize the Canvas tool for mind mapping. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Now, what is a mind map, you might ask? A mind map is simply an outline that actually has a spatial element to it. Here's a stereotypical mind map on mind mapping itself. If I were preaching off of this mind map, the title of the sermon would be mind mapping, and I would have five main points, planning, creativity, productivity, collaboration, and benefits. Notice that each of my main points also has subpoints, and I draw pictures and put down ideas in a spatial way so that I can get through the sermon by actually walking through the page in a sort of fashion. This is very helpful for me because before this, I just preached off of outlines, and outlines were a real struggle for me. I would get lost. I wouldn't be sure which point I was on or where I was at on the page. I love preaching off mind maps, and once I started trying it, I never turned back because once I used mind maps, I always remembered where I was. Did I step away from my manuscript for a moment? No problem. I remember I was in the lower right corner talking about creativity, and when I step back, I'm going to be ready to talk about productivity next. That's the point of a mind map. Now, let me show you how to build these in Logos. So here we are back in Logos Bible software, and this is where I build my mind maps at. It's very helpful for you to set up your favorites and have these presets for everything that you're going to build them with. I already have them set up, so I'm just going to show you. 
Here you can see I have the title of the sermon. It goes right in the center, Life to Come. Also, I like to have an introduction. So I'm going to type intro here. And I know I put my intro in the upper right corner of the page. I'll put it up here. I like to connect my intro with yellow arrows. And so I'll just go ahead and build these arrows in. And I also like to put my Bible verse that I'm going to be preaching off of right up towards the top of the page. So let me grab a different text and put in my Bible verse. This helps me to remember what I'm preaching off of and helps me to reference that during the middle of the sermon. And so you can see that I can fill out this mind map relatively quickly. I can maybe put in my proposition. This is a, just a default one that I have because the dead are raised, we ought to live. And you can see I can already begin filling in my first main point. Right down here in the lower right corner, the dead are raised. And this is how I fill in my mind map. And I did this because I have all of my favorites saved. I have all of these presets available. Let me show you how to build these presets so it's easier for you. Now, the way you build these presets is you come down to the lines and arrows down here, and you just put in the default ones. Here's one of the arrows I think that I use. You can turn them around in any way, shape, or form. And what you can do then is use the upper right corner and select styles up here. That allows you to color the arrows in certain ways. Now, these are the presets. There are more. You can build it yourself, but I found these worked perfectly well for my use. Once I have that built in, then all you have to do is drag and drop that into the favorites box up here. And there we go. There is our red arrow. I can just click it and it will spam it out here. Note that when you do this and you set up the favorites menu, every time you open a canvas document, this favorite menu is going to be available. This is great because you only have to set up all your presets one time and then you can utilize them in every mind map you build after that. Let me now show you a finished mind map. So here's one of my finished mind maps, and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I use. Notice that the title of the sermon is Drifting and Resisting. I have four main points. Point number one about drifting. Point number two about resisting the currents. Point number three, the punishments fit the clarity. And point number four, our clear path. Notice that I start in the upper right corner with my intro, and I have an entire structure right here to talk about my opening illustration. Here's my proposition. Because drifting is an ever-present danger, we must constantly strain against the current of the times. And then I break down each of my main points. Notice each of the colored boxes that I have. I have pink colored boxes to designate illustrations for myself. I use blue colored boxes in order to designate for myself the fact that I need to go on to one of my slides in my PowerPoint. And finally, I use purple colored boxes to go ahead and designate when I need to make application to the individual's life. This is all a structure that I built myself, and I just utilize this to walk through the text. I bring with me into the pulpit one sheet of paper, one mind map, eight and a half by 11, turned horizontally, and I preach off of that. Now, sometimes I have a quote that I want to reference, and there's not room for it here in my mind map. No problem, I bring a second sheet of paper with me. And if I just scroll down, this is the second sheet of paper I bring with me into the pulpit. I have a lot of quotes you can see here. And what I do is during my preaching, I actually have these pink boxes as referenced here in the mind map itself. So you can see over here, I have quote three referenced right after my third main point. And down here, I have my quote three available from Krausen. And in this way, I just have two sheets of paper that I take with me into the pulpit and I can preach my entire sermon off of these two sheets. I know it may look intimidating at first, but this is nothing different than an outline that is organized in a spatial way. And once you have that spatial organization of the outline, you can actually utilize this to help you remember where you're at while you're preaching and never skip a beat. So there you go, guys. This is how I make mind maps in Logos Bible software. Here's just an example of the 8.5 by 11 sheet I showed you, but it's printed out. And this is what I take with me into the pulpit. I can add additional notes. You can see I wrote something up in here in pen. And I have all of those quotes that I can reference here on my other sheet of paper. I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't have my fourth point of application filled out. Well, I went ahead and filled that out with pen when I was ready to. And I just take these two sheets with me into the pulpit along with my Bible. And I preach straight off of those. Now, I know this is using the Canvas tool in a very unique way. When I showed this to the administrators at Logos, they said, that is very unique. That's not how we intended you use the Canvas tool. But I'm glad you found something that worked for you. But I will tell you, once I started preaching using mind maps, I haven't gone back. I constantly love to make mind maps and utilize them, and they make all of my preaching way easier. If you're not ready to preach a sermon this way, perhaps you start with a Bible study or a simple lesson. But I have found that utilizing mind maps has really changed my preaching for the better.
That's it for this video, guys. That's how I utilize the Canvas tool. It's very easy for making sentence diagrams and putting slides into your PowerPoint presentations. And in addition, you can make those mind maps that are going to help you to preach in a better way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you are blessed. Please reach out to us if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you want me to cover another topic. Thank you for all of your love and support here on YouTube. We're trying to bless you in the best ways that we possibly can. Take care. God bless. Bye.